Let's go. Dude, I'm so fucking I'm happy so right now. How are you? So fucking good. I've been good. really looking forward to this. Jesse. This is Jesse, Jesse Merch Man oh, so Stone. Nice so, this is so my nice D-Rock. I love it. Sit, sit, sit. Dude. You I'm are so un- fucking you grateful. Are? I'm super fired up. First and foremost, so I sucked at, I sucked at school so bad that my dad made me watch your videos. Really? To like I'm gonna put this make up. up for Look the this. shit. There's only 11 fucking people. Oh my, in my God. Only, there's only 11 fuckers that, <laughs> that were worse than me. That was me. I want to find those that 11 was people. Me. That was me. Right there, man. That I was me. It. He made you watch. He made me watch your videos. Like I watched a Taco Bell. Because he was smart enough to know that. Yes. That I yes. loved so good. He just knew that I that wasn't my shit. Like I wasn't gonna get it, and it wasn't gonna happen. Like I was never gonna go to college, and that shit just wasn't gonna work. So he had me watch your videos, and he had like questions at the end. You are going to be such a big star. <laughs> I am so pumped right now. Dude. Like obviously I meet a lot of artists and, For sure. and, and all of and a lot of them are different. Like yeah, some yeah. people I think are gonna really do solid. Yeah. Some people I just like and I, some people I secretly wanna shift their mind yeah, yeah, so yeah. they don't burn out in eight months. Yeah. But once in a blue moon, like like right now I'm already being very meta. I can't wait to watch this in eleven years and be like, it's gonna and, be and fucking basically crazy. tell everybody, like, fucking told you. Yeah. Fuck it. Like, it's so obvious. You connect with your audience in a way that's so crystal clear to me. I did. And it took me 10 years for people to understand that. That makes me so fucking happy. I had fucking dorky wine and tech advice. <laughs> you have fucking music. Do yeah. you understand that I'd be fucking Beyonce if I had music? So literally how I- Do you I... understand? <laughs> that, that if, if what I did for a living was you as cool could. as- I, I need a Gary V feature. It's done. Let's go. It's done. A verse. Done. First album. Done. Okay. Auto tune. Auto tune. <laughs> <on. laughs> All right. No, but how I even got um, into music is because got didn't get into college. I tried, didn't get in. That was no question asked. Yeah. And then I was they like, were right. yeah. And I was like, <laughs> what can I do that I don't have to go to college? And then I looked up on Google how to do a TED talk, and I did a TED talk. When I was 18, because I was like, I don't know what the fuck else I'm going to do. Went on stage and I was like, this is what I'm meant to do in life. Like, I'm meant to be a channel. Just connected. It just, it just it happened. I spoke at schools for like a month and I was like, this isn't my shit. I couldn't tell like my full story. I couldn't talk about being gay or like any of that. And I couldn't cuss. Because I, li- I grew up I, in Indiana and the shit have, was weird. You have to watch my talk to these sixth graders in Chattanooga. I just fucking know. <laughs> I just fucking curse and then parents and teachers in the background are fucking shitting their pants. I and I'm bet. just like, I'm like. And they're like, but he's Gary V, so it's okay. And more impo- yes, which is the best. <laughs> and more importantly, sixth graders here way worse shit than what the fuck 100%, I'm ta- especially with gra- the internet. Sixth graders have the fucking internet. Like, They're, I'm scared, but I'm, I'm excited. Sixth graders know more about cursing and bestiality than I ever knew. Yeah, You know what I mean? Like, people are ridiculous. 100%. People don't get what they're seeing. That's right, D-Rock, I said it. Nah. <laughs> but no, I'm so grateful, for real. And it is gonna, like, I can't wait. I, I got my debut album coming out in 2020, in March. And I'm um, gonna have singles leading up. I just got out of a shitty label deal, listen so I'm me, independent. Listen to me. The biggest other reason why I wanted to connect, excuse me, I really think you have something to say. You have to say it. I have been through a journey of talking and every day, every month, every year, a little more comes out because we're all humans and we're holding Mm -hmm. shit. Just fucking say it. Mm -hmm. What? That's what I realized. I realized why I had to get out of my label so bad is because it was taking away my spirit and that's the only thing that I'm like, I can never lose. Like I can never lose that. That is what makes me me. And makes my support. The makes o- my supporters the follow only, me. The only person that's not delusional is the audience. Swear. I know. The only one that's not. My level would be like, your audience is this big, the world is this big, you should focus on this. I'm like, they don't, I don't care about that right now. They're gonna care when these people care because we're, we're here. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm laughing because I'm just like, <laughs> just watching people who've never done anything yeah. Cast judgment and give advice. My favorite thing about what I spit is it's only shit I've done. Yeah. I swear. It's why I hate consultants like who go to great schools and then tell people how to run their business. I'm like, why don't you run a fucking business first? It's no, why, seriously. Music executives, go make a fucking song, get people to listen to it, and then I'll listen to you. I swear. Like, go meaning, build a genuine. Meaning, let me say this one thing though on the hedge. Yes, of course there are great executives, 
but you're not always right. No. I actually think every piece of content I'm putting out is fully right and fully wrong all the time. And it doesn't every matter. Every post I make, I'm like, this is the best and, and this the is not gonna do well. Yep. But that's what makes a star a star is you think you're the shit and you think you aren't shit. 100%. So, and if it's really 50-50 and you stay, where people get caught is a lot of people start 50-50 on that. Yeah. But then they get a little high in their fucking fame and then they become 60-40, 70-30, 80-20, 90-10. Literally the reason I know I'm winning is I've never been more excited around my humility yeah. at this moment, which is the moment where I have the most notoriety. That's how I feel right now too. Even on this tour opening up, like every single night I'm like, everybody who has no idea who the fuck I am, it's so good to meet you. It's just, it feels good. Do you know that as you just said that, so that was so crazy what just went through my body. <laughs> I've never wanted to be an artist, even though I talk and make jokes, yeah. like, I want to be a rapper. Like, I, yeah, I mean, I, it would be cool to have that skill set. And now in today's world, I would, literally if I had the ability, I'd do it just in the same way that I basically have made myself known mm -hmm. by doing, the, I'm like the Incredible Hulk, I used the poison on myself. Mm -hmm. Like I was telling everybody for a long time, like do this, do this, do this, I'm like fuck it, no one's listening, I'm gonna do it on myself. That's literally what I did. And so, but you know what's funny, I've never, but when you just said open, I love being an underdog so much. I right now, as somebody who has no musical ability, and nobody in the most part knows, want to open up for Beyonce <laughs> just so every, just because I love the idea of the setup being terrible. Like, this is not and you gonna have go well. To just do it. And just, not only just do it, I'm so convinced I'm gonna win. Mm -hmm. Like, my mood every show. I'm like, that must be so fucking awesome. It's honestly like being out of my label is the best thing that could have ever happened. It's why I'm thinking about moving to China and like just starting my a business because I want none of the advantages that yeah. I've created for myself. Yeah, I feel you. I really feel I you. I believe you. I know it's just why we're like, here. I really, really see it in you. I know. I, I really know you do. It. And the craziest, dude, I used to literally watch your videos all the time. I literally would not have made music if it wasn't for you. I wouldn't, period. Like I was an Indiana girl. I made my album in my closet. Cause you're over here, stop watching fucking Law, stop doing this. I'm like looking around in Indiana. Telling me. <laughs> I'm literally, I went in my closet, made it, went number one on iTunes. That's how Epic found me, got to LA. And then I was like, fuck you guys, you took my momentum and now you're like adding a chain to my leg and I'm not doing it. Cut the chain, now I got this tour, like the day after I got out of my label, put out Hasta La Vista, you found it. It's like the universe couldn't make it any more obvious. Yep. So. Because the universe is actually just the people. I know. The universe is actually consumers, humans. Mm -hmm. And when you bring them value, good shit happens. Yeah, and I heard the quote, or, or somewhere it's just said, like, the top stars, like, in any category, anywhere, is the, all people want to feel from you is safe, understood, and just, like, they're on fire. And that's what my shows are. It's the, the best way for them to feel that yeah. is when you feel safe. Exactly. When you feel connected. Because then it's the universe. It's fire. a recycled and it's a recycled spirit. That's people how I was get like, it. people, fuck people this. are dead inside, and they're trying to front on the outside that they're on fire. People taste it. I know. People and taste that's it. That's also another thing that you really helped me too. Is just when I'm going through everything I'm going through, like on this journey to literally anywhere is just being honest with my people because they don't yeah. they do know so when i'm not feeling it on stage i'm just gonna be like i had a shitty ass day but thanks for coming and i'm gonna give and them that's my where own you can flip it like you know what i like doing like you know listen i have my own version of expectations when i hit the stage like i go to conferences i know yep. what I, you know that subset of people that really fuck with me they're like wait till gary v comes on yeah and he's gonna curse the fuck out of everyone yep. and fucking drop it and sometimes i'm just like yo I tend not to be, you know, think, I don't know, I mean, at some point I will, but like, you know, it's not that I've lost my energy. Sometimes I'm like, I want to, I, sometimes I'm in a thoughtful mood. I swear. And I just want to pull up my chair and sit down and go that route. And like, that's it. I feel you. Like, I feel no pressure to do what they want me to do. Mm -hmm. The only pressure I feel is to give them my truth. Yeah. And that's where people fuck up. Yeah. Because when they get a level of fame for something, 
they feel like that's what they want, they gotta do. Mm. And what I think is like, what you gotta do is what got you there in the first place, which was you were doing, when nobody's watching, you're being you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Not to mention too, but the biggest thing that people liked for me from the get go was how happy and like energized I am all the time. But then like Asa La Vista came out and I could tell people wanted that like happy, this, this, this. I'm like, no, I'm just gonna give you this real moment and real raw and I'm just gonna tell you my truth. And now for the next one, I'm gonna go like alternative hip hop pop. For the next one, I wanna have like a Drake moment. I wanna have a John Mayer moment. Like I wanna have all those moments and just whatever I'm genuinely feeling. Cause I wanna go on an acoustic tour. I wanna go on a fucking crazy. This is why if you can balance ambition and patience, it all works out. I wanted to have a sneaker and a wine 20 years ago. Yep. The reason everybody fucks up is they try to eat too much up front and then they throw up. Mm-hmm. No, seriously, and then I'm they don't feel serious. it. If it actually happens, they don't even feel it. When you fulfilled. have talent and opportunity, that's like having an unlimited amount of food in front of you. Mm-hmm. The problem is people throw up. Mm-hmm. They just eat everything and then it all comes out. It's patience. When you, My biggest thing about patience is completely framed in happiness and talent. People don't understand what I'm actually saying. That doesn't why. even matter. Think about everything, yeah. think about the fire coming out of your mouth. If you put that into, how old are you? 23. If you said in 23 years I'll be 46, which is young as fuck, all of a sudden, all the shortcomings of ambition and fire get subsided. Yeah. Because you're like, cool, I'll do the acoustic thing in six years. Yeah. <laughs> it's really throwing up. No, yeah. It really is. I know, because I know everything that I can accomplish. Because you're hungry as fuck, you can feel it, mm. the universe is talking, yep. and now is the hardest part of your life. All the other shit you did was easy. Yeah. I mean it. No, I as know. As crazy as it sounds. And I can't wait. It's was, gonna be the hardest shit and I cannot wait to conquer it. I get it. And honestly, it's not any of the cliche shit like the fame and fortune. It's not. No. It's just it's in, Yeah. It's just life. It's inevitable. It's, everybody feels that shit. But when you're on a, on the scale going up, it's, it's a, a lot more. Human. Yeah. But it's How'd amazing. Um, I do merch. So I have something called uh, Fervor. It means to have an intense or passionate feeling towards something. And I uh, just started making merch for her. Started we literally met at some random ass LA party, sat down with him, told him I want to make rugby shirts that say don't panic. He said he made merch. Next day, he texted me a mock-up of don't panic on a rugby shirt. I said, that's Dude, my guy. Come on to it. 100%. Yep. Same with him. Met him at a random bar in Texas. He didn't know I was an artist. I didn't know he was a photographer. He just started filming me dancing in this bar. I said, you're coming on tour. He was just filming everything I was doing. He had no idea I was a musician, no idea my name. He's just filming me because, in this bar. Because making is the currency. It's literally, he was just documenting everything. He it. fucking sent me my, he sent me a new merch line the next day after I met this man at three in the morning. Meanwhile, 99% of people that are watching this are talking about being a merch person for J. Cole. I swear. For the baby, for Meg the Stallion, I'm gonna I'm gonna be Meg the Stallion's merch person without doing. Not it. unless you go do it. You know how easy it is to be Meg the Stallion's merch person six months ago. It's so Make crazy. a fresh ass piece of merch, DM it to Meg the Stallion, and you're Meg the Stallion's merch person if you have talent and serendipity of timing. He always asks I'm, me. I'm aware, bro. He always asks me like, well, how did you know that you were gonna bring me? I'm like, you just know. You were filming from the second I met you. You didn't even know anything about me. I didn't know anything about you, but you were so passionate about this shit that you were just going. You sure he wasn't like hitting on you? Positive. <laughs> okay, cool. I think I give <laughs> off enough gay vibes. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> um, but seriously, I know you gotta go, but will you write out a tattoo for me? I'm gonna get it. 100%. Anything, just whatever, just whatever. It can be. I got it. Whatever. And I wrote. Uh, I bought your book, uh, Crush It, when I was in high school, and you wrote a little. Keep I'm so going. Old. Yeah. To you. Yeah. How? You wrote it in the front cover of the book. You wrote Keep Going, where, Gary where, Vee. Though? In like, the front cover I, of Crush It. I signed it, or yeah. it was in the book. Where, you signed it. How though? With a sharpie. No, but you met him. No, I ordered it. That's what it. I mean. On Barnes and Nobles? My dad did. On Barnes and Nobles when I did the... Um, that's My what I dad did it. Do right, uh, you got a piece of paper or something? Yep. And a pen. Sorry. That's right. Oh, thanks, wow. D-Rock. Boy, Anything and everything. Gonna, can I use this? It's the top ten... Tri- no. Top nine... <laughs> D-Rock said, no, no, no. <laughs> no, no. We see you winning all the crowds and everything. Got it. Yeah, it was so crazy. 
I'm writing a tattoo. Writing a tattoo, and I'm gonna get it big as fuck on my arm. <laughs> this shit's gonna be wild. Shh. Boom. Okay. Amazing. I'll tweet it to you right when I get it. This is getting better by the Show second. If I was watching a video right now of fucking Beyonce sitting with me 13 years ago and she was gonna tattoo some shit on her fucking body. Trust me, I'm gonna get this I today. I could fucking call out. You know how I love talking about Oprah's first Instagram photo? Like, that it's me? Right the this date. This is gonna be way better. Right the date, right there. I'm gonna get the date tattooed. So crazy. <laughs> Amazing. I'm gonna get it today. I love you so much. I love you, it's dude. It's so obvious to me, you don't even know. Now I'll be back. 98% of the people that come in here go through this man. You're not one of those people. Thank you. Right? No, we, were, we were talking about it before. Right? You wanted right? to know how you found the music. Right? Get you more know, than I'm, you I'm take. About. Yeah. Get and more that, than you take. Also, for about five seconds, can I FaceTime my dad? 100%. He's gonna shit. If he answers, we'll see. And Key fucks with her heavy too. Is that true? Yeah. That's amazing. We'll see. <laughs> Dad! Dad, I fucking love you! <laughs> I love every single father that understands how to feed their children the right fucking yeah. information. Holy shit! <laughs> where are you? Where where are you? I'm at a home inspection right at the moment, so I gotta keep this phone handy. I love it. I love it. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me take a screenshot. Ready, Dad? For what? A screenshot. <laughs> Love it. Thank you so much, Love Gary. It. You're welcome. Love You're you welcome. so fucking fun. much. I can't wait to come back. It was so nice to meet you. Okay. I'll see you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye, Dad.